so welcome back so we were dealing related to the inherent problems in any measurement so the second methodology is nothing but the actual calibration service what we follow you will measure a known standard material and check out the force value of it you will replace that standard material with the actual material whose force measurement has to be done then you compare so that you will overcome the inherent problems which are associated in measurements so these are the things what you have to understand before we go for modifying and terminating devices so one is what do you mean by mechanical system and other one is the inherent problems in any measurement which come across okay so this force measurement system what we follow in calibration has two parts so one is sensor your signal producing system and other one is the indicating system so sensor or the signal producing system what does it what does it do it these are measurable attributes so the magnitude of it will have a correspondence to the magnitude of the applied force so in the sensor or the signal producing system is nothing but a detector so how does it sense it sense depending upon the magnitude of the force being applied if you are using a good pressure sensor or any other sensor so that clearly senses the amount of force applied and the same amount of magnitude of the uh, corresponding force data will be originated in the input signal so these are measurable attributes which directly are connected with our input signal the second one is indicating system so what happens in indicating system it quantitatively display the signal from sensing system right it displays the signal from the sensing system and it is essentially a black box so what do you mean by it you have a detector which is nothing but a sensor which will sense the applied force so the sensed input signal will be displayed quantitatively and that display in which it is being done is essentially an black box it is an device which displays the data red so it will be in our modifying unit what we call it as modifier or second stage transducer elements so to do this indicating system there are different types of electronic indicating systems which can be used with strain gauge type sensing system so in order to work out you should be using an strain gauge type of sensing system which senses the applied force and that applied force will be displayed using a black box which is nothing but our electronic indicating system okay so these system will be having provisions to zero adjust amplify the gain adjust all okay based on the particular load applied so what does this do so you should understand there are three stages one is the detector stage in which the sensor plays a vital role and second is the indicating system which is the intermediate stage which will amplify the received input and it displays the received input signal irrespective what input signal it has been taking so this input signal if it has to be converted into an output it has to be modified for that it should be having some adjustments with it so these adjustments are nothing but zero adjust or amplifying the received gain with respect to the particular load so everything this adjustment depends upon the load applied so based on the load applied it will be sensing the applied force so based on the applied force it will display it in the modifying unit which is an black box so there are different varieties in order to display in an indicating system this will be working out very good if you use a sensor which is of strain gauge type so it has a modifications to enhance the display which are nothing but the zero adjust amplifier gain adjust which mainly depends upon the load applied so these are the two type of force measurement system 
what we use in calibration service with respect to our transducers so we are relating everything related to our transducer elements for our modifier and terminating devices so based on this concept now we have to come out for intermediate modifying and terminating devices i have told you this so this is a modifier unit and this is the output unit stage 2 transducers and stage 3 transducers so what happens in case of intermediate modifying and terminating devices so in most cases mechanical quantity which was detected will be transduced into an electrical form so what does a mechanical transducer does it absorbs a physical quantity and convert that into the required displacement so these mechanical quantities which are detected will be transduced in the form of electrical form so it could be an voltage or an electrical signal before it is fed to the third or terminating stage because stage 1 will sense and it converts into the displacement so displacement comes into the modifying unit which has to modify do conversions based on these adjustments and finally transmit that to the terminating stage so terminating stage will be nothing but our indicators recorders or control elements indicators it will uh, indicates the reading directly it will record the output or the control elements can directly transmit that into the next device which needs an output so this is basically how an modifying and an terminating device works we have explained this with respect to example also borbon tube and all if you remember right so now you have to understand the signal conditioning equipments are you may can be used for mechanical electrical or electronic type of transducers the signal conditioning is the thing what you have to understand so irrespective of any type of transducers this signal conditioning equipment can be used so if it is mechanical types the elements used could be linkages gearing and cam etc in order to get the required movement in the displacement okay so these mechanical types have many limitations because you mechanical types will be move, having elements which are movable so due to moving parts it has its own limitations because it helps in resulting friction inertia non linearity backlash and elastic deformations all these we have dealt already so in comparison to the other two so oh, in comparison with mechanical electrical and electronic type of transducers are more feasible because it has less drawbacks and also large amount of voltage and power amplifications are required to drive the recording devices so we use electrical and electronic in order to overcome this drawbacks but these electrical and electronic systems are associated with some other factors because they need large amount of voltage and power amplifications are required in order to drive their recording <coughs> devices sorry so the mechanical signals transduced into electrical signals are not only amplified but in special types okay so uh, usually the work is nothing but the mechanical signals are sensed and it has been converted into the electrical signals and they are not only amplified but in special types signal conditioning may involve filtering integration and differentiation so what do you mean by it it helps in converting and it also amplifies the signal along with that it helps in signal conditioning because it overcomes in in filtering it will integrate if you have many parameters coming together and it can differentiate also electrical signal based on the requirement so you have an fine tuning of the output data what you are receiving that is mainly due to signal conditioning and this signal conditioning equipments are mainly depends upon which type of 
elements you are using either mechanical electrical or electronic so depending upon the applications needed you can go ahead with mechanical elements yeah electrical yeah electronic elements so we have dealt related to all the three types so this is a simple current sensitive circuit so how does it looks so you will be having an input voltage which has been passed through the resistance transducer this, this is an passive type of resistance transducer so it is not an active type we explained both the active and the passive resistance so this is the passive type of the resistance through which the input voltage will be made to pass through so when it has been passed through it will have an indication of value of the resistance in it and the resistance of the transducer changes when there is a change in the physical quantity being res uh, measured because it has its own passive resistance value so when you input and voltage passing through it so there will be change in the passive resistance of the measuring element right so the resistance of the transducer changes when there is a change in the physical quantity being measured so thereby it causes a change in the current which flows in the circuit so whenever you have the voltage v is equal to ri right the equation what we follow voltage is equal to resistance times of the uh, input current so based on the voltage you apply if you make it to pass through the passive type of resistance system then the change in the input current will be indicated on sensed by using the current indicator which provide you the input current output sorry output current based on the passive resistance you are using so here we refer r suffix t as maximum resistance of the transducer so we are using and passive resistance material here so what is the maximum resistivity of that transducer will be referred by the letter r suffix t then you should know what do you mean by k times r suffix t so it will be the resistance of the transducer when measuring a particular value of the physical quantity so it mainly depends upon the physical quantity of what material you are referring because k represents the percentage factor which varies from 0 to 1 so you will be multiplying the percentage factor from 0 to 1 depending upon the physical quantity you are using to measure the resistance of the transducer so r suffix m will be nothing but the resistance of the measuring circuit excluding the transducer because you have an resistance type transducer and you have an passive resistance material so if you include the resistance type transducer resistance also the value of r will be different so you have to exclude the resistance of the resistance type transducer to get the value of r suffix m okay 
so it is the resistance of the measuring circuit excluding the transducer which is in the input circuitry and k i have told you it represents a percentage factor of the material physical quantity what you are measuring it usually ranges from 0 to 1 so based on this concepts from our basic ohms law the current flowing through the circuit means the output current which is flowing through the circuit will be equal which is indicated okay so the output current which flows in this input circuitry this is our input uh, input circuitry so the output current which is flowing in this input circuitry based on ohms law what we get in the indicator directly the measurement will be based on this theoretical equation which is e suffix i divided upon k into r suffix t plus r suffix m so e suffix i will be nothing but our input voltage divided upon the percentage factor k multiplied into maximum resistance of the transducer just bear for few minutes so finally this will be the input voltage divided upon the percentage factor into the resistance into the maximum resistance of the transducer what we are using plus the resistance of the material excluding the transducer because in this input circuitry will be using a resistive type of transducer so one is the maximum resistance of this resistance type transducer the other one is the resistance of the input circuitry excluding this transducer so this will provide as the input sorry output current which is passing through the input circuitry for any electrical device so this is the simple circuit sensitive system what you have to understand so the maximum value of the current occurs whenever the value of k is zero so it represents a percentage factor which vary from zero to one so it depends upon the transducer element what we are using if you are using a transducer element which has consistency in its value so this value will not be varying so whenever the value of k is the least you will get the maximum in output current so then the equation you can rewrite as input current upon the resistance of the passive element uh, passive resistance what uh, what we are using so you can rewrite i not by i max is equal to r suffix m so if you fine tune it with the calculation you will come to this finally so this will be rm upon rm plus k into r suffix t so now if you take again rm as a common thing so this will be 1 plus 1 plus k into rt divided by rm so this provides the ratio of input current to that of the maximum value of the current so this variation the figure shows a variation of i not by i max ratio with k for various values of rt by rm so based on the resistivity of the transducer and the passive material the i max and the i not value changes so where i not represents the output signal k depends upon the input signal which has been sensed the physical quantity what you are sensing and the physical element what you are sensing and hence it represents as an input data k is referred to as an input data and here the figure also shows the input output relation variable so you have the here the graph so after you get the value of i not if the value of k is zero then you will fine tune the equation in such a way you can find out the variation of input current to the maximum current then you will find out the values for all the experiment data what you have done so you will show the ratio of i not and i max 
for the value of k which ranges from 0 to 10. So this 0 to 10 depends upon the physical quantity which is being sensed as an input signal. So based on the physical quantity sensed, you will be getting the variable 1, 2, 3, 4 until 10. So based on these values, you will plot the graph for I0 by I max. So this is the value which is maximum when k is equal to 0 and it comes reducing when the value of k is increasing from 1 to 10. So this will be again depending upon our RT by RM value. So this is how you will plot the graph and show the variation of the output current with respect to the input signal what you are receiving for any physical quantity quantity for which the value for which the value of k varies from 0 to 10. So this is of the variation in the output current what you get in a current sensitive circuit. The same thing has been explained over here. Okay, so in the tomorrow's class we will deal up with respect to the ballast circuit, electronic amplifiers, vacuum tube amplifiers, what you mean by telemetry, okay, telemetry transmitting and receiving systems we do have and finally, we have terminating devices. In this, you should also understand mechanical counters and finally, cathode ray oscilloscope. So, all these we will deal it up in tomorrow's class. And everyone, uh, if you have any doubt, you are free to ask. And uh, I will take a screenshot again for the attendance. In the meantime, if you have any doubts, you are free to speak. And if you anyone have not written your name in the chat room, kindly do type it out. Any doubts? If anyone have not written your name and you are sent, kindly type it out. Please don't go out of the house without any reason. Stay safe at home. Do useful work positively. See the best how you can extract until and unless the college is open. So, anyone else, if you haven't written your name and your son, kindly do type it. Uh, Princess here. Hello. <coughs> Nihal. Yes. Alap. Yes, ma'am. Chinmay. Yes, ma'am. Pranay. It's not there. Tarun. Uh, I'm... Yes, okay. Ma Ibad. Ashitesh, Vivek. Ma'am, you both present. Okay, Vivek. Ashitesh, Ritik, I'll come to know how many are really listening. Ritik, Narendra, Narendra, present ma'am, Jayant, present ma'am, Darshan, Shravan, Siddharth, yes, Shivam, both the Siddharth are present, right? Both the Siddharth. Uh, yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Shivam, Shivam, Sautrik Roy, Akshat. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Akshat. Yes, ma'am. Sanjay. Yes, ma yeah, Sanjay Oda, yes, Prayag. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, yeah. Prayag? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ch Chaitanya? Yes, ma'am. And Milan? Present, ma'am. Okay. Oh, Darshan is there and his mic is not working. Fine, done. No problem. So, everyone, take care. Have a nice day. We'll meet you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. Take care.